Hey there everyone, this is Jessica from domesticatingme.com. If you're new to my channel, welcome, bienvenidos. My name is Jessica Flores and I am a beauty obsessed, fashion loving, DIY project making Latina mom from New York City and I blog and vlog at Domesticate Me. Today's beauty video is sponsored by My Makeup Brush Scent. They sent me two brushes to try out and the first of which is their 10 piece black and gold oval brush set and then their 24 piece brush set that I have been dying to dig into. So the first thing that I'm gonna show you is this is going to be a review and also a demo um, video. So I'm gonna try these out right in front of you so you can see how they work and my thought, and you can hear my thoughts on them. First thing I'm gonna show you is the oval set. It comes in this pouch right here, this velvet pouch. And let me show you the brushes. Here is the oval brush set. As I mentioned, there are 10 sets, 10 brushes in this set. They are black and a rose gold color. Um, they are plastic, but it's a nice sturdy plastic. It's not flimsy in any way. And then the handles are this matte rubber kind of texture, which is really nice so you can get a good firm grip on them. The uh, brushes themselves are quite dense, but also soft. So really nice quality, especially when you consider the price. Now, I'm sure you've seen these oval brushes all over YouTube and the internet and your beauty, your favorite beauty bloggers have used them. I have personally, personally never tried them because the sets that I saw were so expensive. At least for me, it was just not in my price range for how much I want to spend on a brush set as amazing as they seemed but this is so affordable i mean you just can't beat it and i'm telling you the quality is very very good so i'm gonna do a demo and uh show you how i use them um one of the things that i have to note is that these are labeled so for example this one right here is, is says powder brush and they all are labeled with the um, what they do and what they should be used for. There was an error in the one that I received in the pack that I received. Um, I don't know if it's because you know I'm a blogger and they just sent a sample. I'm sure their quality review is a little bit better if you were purchasing it. And if you have any sort of issues, you can contact them. Their customer service. But I have to point out where is it that they made a mistake. On, on one of these. Here we go. So I think this one is labeled lip brush. Now, if you can see, it's it's kind of big for it's it's kind of big for something that's supposed to be used for her brush. Now, it's not that big of a deal for me because I will use whatever brush in whatever way that I desire, the way that it works for me. So even though this says that it's a, an eyebrow brush, if I like it better for something else, then I will use it for something else. All our faces are not the same shape, they're not the same size, so even if it's labeled for one thing, if it works better for you in a different way, go ahead and use it in that way. No judgments, no rules. So I'm gonna start off with my foundation. So I'm gonna use the foundation brush that they have supplied. I'm using Makeup Forever's HD foundation. It's my favorite foundation. So I'm going to apply that. I'm gonna first tap it on to different parts of my face and then I'm gonna start brushing it in. Now this is supposed to be the concealer brush, but I just think that it's kind of way too big for what I needed to do. I need to like add a little bit of concealer in certain areas like under my eye and to cover up any blemishes. So I'm gonna use this contour brush. This is what they've um, said is their contour brush. Now I'm gonna use what they say is their lip brush, what is labeled here as another brush, and I'm gonna use this to um, brush it into my skin. Yeah, that looks, that looks really good. That really blended it out really, really well. 
And now to do a little contouring, this is what these brushes are really best for. Um, I'm gonna use Makeup Forever's Pro Sculpting Palette, and this is in the number 30. I'm going to use the contour brush to pick up that dark cream to do uh, my contouring with. So I'm just gonna apply it to the hollows of my cheek, across my forehead, jawline. So let's see. Now I'm gonna take what they call their eyeliner brush and I'm gonna use that to contour my nose and my lip area. They already have a nose contour, but I just wanna use this one because it's smaller, I can control it a little bit more. I'm going to use what they labeled as their lip brush and I'm going to use that to apply some of that lighter cream on. Now I'm going to use the big powder brush to bake. All right, and I think that's all that I'm gonna use from the oval brushes. Now it's time to open up my 24 brush set pack and it comes in this faux leather case. So you just use the straps to close it in and then here they are. Again, this includes 24 brushes. It's a nice, very nice size pack here. You open up this flap and here are your brushes. These are also a very nice quality. They're not flimsy by any stretch of the imagination. They're, you know, dense and fluffy. The ones that need to be soft and fluffy are soft and fluffy. The ones that need to be a little more stiff are perfectly stiff. Um, I don't have any of these bristles coming out. Um, again, really sturdy, really nice quality brushes. The only brushes that I probably won't use from this set are these two right here. These I probably will not use, but I will definitely use all of the other ones. I think that, again, because I was just sent a pack to review, they might have sent me something from, you know, just one of their samples. These, I noticed, have no labels on them just completely black so if you are a beginner and you need the guidance of what brush is used for what you might be missing out on that but you can find it online where they um, in fact I'll try to list them in the description box below but again for me not the biggest deal because even if they told me this is a whatever kind of brush but I feel like it's better as a contour brush or a shadow brush then I'm just I'm just gonna use it for however it fits me um, but we have a really nice brow brush here with a comb and then brush on the other side. We have a spoolie brush. I really like these. I use them not just to brush out my brow product, but also to separate my lashes. When I have mascara and they've kind of clumped up together, I use these to separate. Um, I really like these brushes, these fan brushes for highlighting, I just find them to be the best. You have eyeliner brushes, you have brow brushes, I mean just every brush that you could ever need is in this pack. So, and again, you can't beat the price. So if you're in the market for some brushes, I really recommend this place. Okay, so now I'm gonna use their large fan brush to dust this off.
So before we finish off the face, I'm gonna move on to the eyes. I'm gonna be using Urban Decay's uh, Naked Smoky Palette. Okay, so I'm gonna take a fluffy brush and apply 13 right under my brow bone. I'm gonna use this angled brush to apply some shadow to my crease and I'm going to use Combust. All right, now I'm gonna use this one and I'm going to apply uh, Dirty Sweet to my lid. This is nice and dense and stiff, which is exactly what I need to pack on the shadow onto my lid. Now I'm gonna pick up just a little bit of a dark brown shadow to apply to the outer crease of my eye. I'm gonna use this fluffy um, blending brush to do that. So I'm just gonna pick up a little bit of product tap off any excess and then right at the outer edge. I'm just blending as I go along. So I'm gonna use this fluffy brush right here to apply Catalina by Laura Geller. Now I'm gonna use this tapered fluffy brush right here to apply my bronzer. And if you haven't noticed, this is what I've been using to uh, apply my makeup. This is Too Faced Chocolate Soleil. And now last but not least, that fan brush I was telling you about, I'm gonna use that to apply Laura Geller's Ballerina Highlighter. Lovely, beautiful. Now what I have to point out about this set that I really love is that it includes several small brushes here. Now I know that they um, call these um, eyeliner brushes you can use this to make uh, liquid liner to line your lashes and things like that but these are so good for multiple uses but one of my favorite things to use these dense small stiff brushes is as a lip brushes I love using several kinds of lipsticks at one time to give it a more um, three-dimensional look I'll use darker shades on the outside and then another shade um, towards the center and then one like highlight pop right in the center so I love these to be able to blend those in to line my lash to blend it out to mix those colors so these I, I just have to make note of it but to keep this video moving along I'm just gonna use a lipstick that I've been dying to use and that's Marc Jacobs perfect it's a limited edition lipstick that I purchased at Sephora so I'm just gonna apply this on and then we'll chat all right, so now for my thoughts. I think both brush sets are great for their value, for the price point, they are amazing. They really are. These oval dense brush sets that you see in the market, a lot of them can be ridiculously expensive, which is why I never owned any until this point. Um, so I do think that they're great. If you wanna try them out, if you want to use that technique to apply your brushes, I mean, to apply your foundation and your makeup like that, I think that is a great, value great set so yeah i think that they're a really good deal i think that the quality is really great for the price point and even if you don't consider even if it were a little more expensive i still i still think they're a really good quality because of the quantity that you get and the quality that they are for their price it's it's a really really good deal so those are my thoughts thank you so much for watching please give this video a thumbs up and share if you enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already click that little bell icon next to my name so that you're notified as soon as my videos go out and thanks again for watching check out the description box below where i link to the products that i feature in my videos as well as my social media i'm on instagram snapchat facebook you name it i'm on it thanks again for watching and stay tuned Thank you.